Good morning, beautiful people of the YouTubes. Alright, so how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your Toro Rute. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? Alright, so today we're going to start off with Aries and just go down the list. There will be timestamps down below. This will be premiered, so if you're watching this live, then thank you. And thank you for following along. But other than that, Let's get right into it. So, Aries. What do we got for Aries today? Aries, Aries, Aries. Alright, let's do one more shuffle, and then we'll get right into Aries' reading. Alright, so Aries. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Cups. You also have the Knight of Wands. And the High Priestess in Reverse. So, with the High Priestess being in Reverse, that tells me that there could be... You could be having a hard time listening to your intuition, and maybe you are having a hard time viewing yourself as someone that is very worthy of this situation. Maybe you feel like you're not it's not worth putting effort into. You do have the Knight of Wands here, so that tells me that there's some sort of in and out energy. Maybe there's some player energy. Maybe you feel like someone has a lot of options. Maybe you have a lot of options on what you can go towards today. But you're having a hard time trusting your intuition because you're just not sure on what action or what decision you should make because all these actions and decisions seem like they aren't worth putting time into so you're really need you're really needing to see the big picture and there's still one more option here that you're just not seeing uh because with the four of cups being here you only see three options and you're kind of unsatisfied with your three options but in the background there's this fourth option that wants to just come towards you but you're need you need to see it first before it can come towards you so you need to open your mind and see everything for what it is today rather than just the three options in front of you because there's always another option out there all right so you have the page of swords in reverse you also have the ten of wands in reverse and the sun card so that tells me that you could be releasing something possibly an air sign or someone that was very childish didn't really think a lot kind of just took action towards things that they thought was necessary or was like a power move for them um and that could be this knight of wands energy uh, maybe they didn't really think they just took action and did things that they wanted to do rather than what anyone else wanted them to do but it does seem like you're getting some sort of new start today, but you're also releasing this burden, which is really good. So it's going to feel like today is going to be like a breath of fresh air. Like you're just going to be able to breathe and not worry about anything. It's just going to be a brand new day and you're just going to really enjoy your life. All right. You could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces, or a Libra. You could also be dealing with a Taurus as well. So... Aries, for that being said, I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And let's move on to Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What do we got for Taurus today? Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. What do we got for Taurus? Alright, Taurus, let's do two shuffles for Taurus, two shuffles for Taurus. Alright, so Taurus at the bottom of the deck. You got the Five of Cups. You also have the Tower card and the Death card in reverse. So with the Five of Cups being here, that tells me that you are really focused on the situation that happened in the past. All right, you're looking at all your spilled cups and you're reminiscing on it. You're just like, how could this happen? Like everything was going good. Why is this happening today? Or, you know, why did this happen? And you're just really thinking about it today. But either way, it does seem like everything's falling apart and you're just not really sure what to do in this situation because you're just so focused on the past and what happened in the past and you're not focusing on um, what you have in the present and how to, you know, move forward in this situation because you're so focused on what happened in the past that you're just confused. You, you don't know what to do, right? You have the death card here in reverse, so that tells me that you could be dealing with a Scorpio as well as the tower card, but either way, um, you're really needing to go through a huge change. Like This is a sudden change, but it's also a major change that's happening in your life. You could be starting to realize things, starting to recognize like, hey, I gotta 
you know, do some work here. I gotta, you know, actually try and put in effort because it's not going to work if I don't try to put in effort in this situation, all right? Um, maybe you're thinking back in the past and you're just like, you know what? Maybe I should have, you know, did something there. Maybe I should have, you know, recognized that, hey, something's not working out. Or maybe you chose a side and you're like, did I choose the right path? Did I choose the right person to go towards? Like, are they right? Are they wrong? Did I listen to the wrong person? That's what you're asking yourself today. You do have the two of wands here, so you're really needing to wait or maybe you're waiting before you know jumping into something. You're making sure you get all the information before you know just running into a situation blind. You do have the hanged man in the in the you do have the hanged man in the reverse today. So that tells me that you will be getting clarity and you will be getting out of this five of cups energy, which is really good. Um, I feel like you're going to be making some sort of decision today that is going to help you get this clarity and help you recognize like, hey, I don't have to be stuck in this situation if I don't want to be stuck. I can move forward if I choose to, right? So, Taurus, if you, for the signs that I see, I see Scorpio, I see Virgo, and Libra, all right? So, for that being said, Taurus, that's going to be your reading for today. I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed, and let's move forward with... Let's move forward with Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What do we got for Gemini today? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. What do we got for Gemini today? What do we got for Gemini today? Today, today, today. What do we got for Gemini? Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Alright, Gemini. Let's do one more shuffle and then we'll divide up the deck and see what you guys got. Alright, so Gemini. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Empress card. You also have the Ace of Swords and the five of swords in reverse so you could be walking away from a situation but you're really feeling you're feeling really good about it but you're still at a loss for something so maybe you feel like yeah you're walking away from something and maybe you could have won that battle but you're just like you know what they can have it i'm doing myself like i'm <laughs> i'm focusing on myself i'm not like I'm, you know you're doing you right you're not worried about what this other person thinks, you're cutting the connection off and you're moving forward and not wanting to really fight in this situation. Um, and you do have the Ace of Swords, so you could have, you know, very well, you know, fought in this situation and won, but you decided to just walk away and not really bother in this situation because it's not, it's just not worth it, all right? You could be dealing with a Virgo or a, a um, Capricorn, but either way, I feel like you're really focusing on yourself today you're feeling really good about yourself and you're wanting to move forward in a new direction or you're trying to really see things in a new perspective so that way you can move forward in a different direction that didn't that doesn't end as badly as this one all right you have the knight of swords in the upright you also have the six of wands and the two of swords so whatever your decision is whatever your decision is going to be today gemini it's going to be final like that's going to be your decision you're not going to uh, walk away and then come back to this person that's it you know you're when you're done you're done you know and with the knight of swords being here that tells me that you've been thinking about this for a while now or that you're starting to think about this and you're just like you know what i gotta move forward in a new direction uh what the the situation that was happening just wasn't working out and you're finding a victory elsewhere you're finding your happiness you're getting this victory that you truly desire and you're focusing on that and you're moving forward in the best way possible all right so gemini that's going to be your reading for today i hope you guys resonate and enjoy um and i'll see you guys in the next video let's move on to cancer 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 what do we got for cancer today what do we got for cancer Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. What do we got for Cancer today? Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Cancer, Cancer, Cancer. Alright, Cancer. Let's do two shuffles. Two shuffles for Cancer. Oh, 
Let's redo that one. Alright, so two shuffles for Cancer. Two shuffles. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, so Cancer, at the bottom of the deck, you got... The Empress card in reverse. You also have the Ace of Swords in reverse. And the Temperance card in reverse. So today is just not your day. You're not really feeling up to the situation. You're kind of like feeling down in the dumps. Uh, maybe you're having a hard time seeing both sides of the perspective. You're really focused on your side of things. And you're just like, but everything seems okay on my side. Even though it's not, you know, the best situation. I understand both sides of the perspective. But you're just... You're so focused on your side because you feel like you're right, but you're also feeling very unbalanced, like you need to be nurtured, that you need to really try to nurture the situation, but you're having a hard time doing it because you're feeling very unbalanced and you're not really wanting to uh, take action towards this person anymore because they just aren't trying to see your side of things. And it's just like there's no point on talking to this person because they're just they're caught up in their head and they're not feeling good and they're taking all their anger out on you and it's just not it's not you know there's no point right but either way i do see you seeing the bright side of things and seeing seeing the silver lining you do have the five of cups here in reverse so that tells me that you're really focused on the two cups that you have rather than the you know three cups that spilled in the past um, you're really focusing on the present rather than focusing on what happened in the past. I, I feel like this situation was supposed to be very fulfilling for you and it really didn't turn out that way for you. Um, it could be about a connection with you and someone else. Maybe you had a connection and you're just like, you know what, I'm going to look at the silver lining. I'm not going to be depressed about this situation that happened. I'm just going to nurture the connection in a very you know friendly manner instead of you know trying to be in a romantic relationship with this person because obviously me and this person just don't connect maybe at first you know you thought you, you could you could very well connect but the more you look at it the more it makes you realize like oh you know me and this person are only meant to be friends or like whatever it was you know you have pisces here you also have Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, and uh, Sagittarius. So, Cancer, that's going to be your reading for today. I hope you guys resonate. And let's move on to... Let's move on to... Leo, 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 Leo. Happy birthday, Leo. How are you guys doing? All right, so, Leo... Leo, 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 what do we got for Leo today? Leo, 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 what do we got for Leo today? What do we got, what do we got, what do we got? Leo, Leo, Leo. Alright, let's do one more shuffle for Leo, and then we'll divide up the deck and see what you guys got. Alright, so Leo, at the bottom of the deck, you got the nine of swords in reverse you also have the king of pentacles and the eight of pentacles in the upright so with the nine of swords being in reverse that tells me that today is going to be a very relaxing day for you you're not really going to be stressing about anyone or anything you may be feeling very abundant and you know very you know strong and hard working maybe you're working very hard today to you know get to get to this king of pentacles status Either way, you're working on something that's very hard because you were just unhappy in the past and something was very unstable for you. So that's why you're working very hard to achieve your goals, to you know focus on what truly matters to you because you don't feel financially stable and you want to be financially stable, Leo. And you don't want to have to stress about your finances and your happiness and stuff like that. So you're really needing to, you know, work hard today and you know focus on your happiness focus on what matters to you and you know focus on you know being stable rather than you know being unstable and fulfilled you know you want to be someone that's stable and fulfilled but right now being stable is better than being fulfilled because 
that way that way you know everything is going to be okay in the end because you're going to be fine you're going to be stable you're going to be secure um, you could be trying to look for someone that is very stable so that way you don't have to work as hard because right now you are very unhappy with your job um, because you know things just aren't working out things may be unstable at the workplace um, but you need the money you need a way to you know spend money and to make money but either way either way Leo you could be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo or that could be signs in your chart either way that's going to be it let's move on to Virgo 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 what do we got for Virgo today what do we got for Virgo today? Today, today, today. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, Virgo, 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 Virgo. Let's see what we got, Virgo. All right, so let's do two shuffles, two shuffles. All right, here we go, here we go. Virgo, at the bottom of the deck, you have the eight of cups in reverse you have the nine of swords in the upright and the strength card in reverse so that tells me that today is going to be a very hard day for you you may find that you don't really have the strength to keep moving forward and putting effort into the situation that you are you know going towards or that you were going towards you may decide to walk away from a situation but if you do um you know continue to work for this connection you may feel like the nine of wands you know a connection that you know is it really worth putting effort into is it like if i take action towards the situation is it going to burden me but you may take a leap of faith towards something that is going to be less burdening so that way you can really focus on yourself and focus in focus on your finances so that way you can become more stable you have the ace of pentacles here so you could be missing out on it you could be missing out on an a, a on an ace of pentacles uh something that could have been a very beneficial financial gain for you but you're just you're not wanting to move towards that situation and you're wanting to go towards something that is a page of swords some maybe you're getting some sort of new idea maybe you're wanting to invest into something that is brand new for you and you feel like that it can lead to something that's really huge for you so that's what you're going towards and yeah um, I do feel like you're letting go of something something that just wasn't working out yeah you could have you know gotten you know some extra pay or a raise or whatever but it just it wouldn't have made a difference if you got that raise right so Virgo that's going to be your reading for today let's move on to Libra 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 what do we got for Libra today? Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Let's do, let's do two shuffles. Two shuffles for Libra. All right, Libra, here we go. All right, so Libra. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Cups. You also have the Eight of Swords in reverse and the Justice card in reverse. So you may feel like today is a very injustice day. Like you may feel like things are going wrong, like it shouldn't uh, be happening this way. Or maybe you feel like things are just very unbalanced for you today. But it does seem like you're very happy, so you're not letting these problems or this uh, the danger in this situation really... Uh, alter your life you're just like you know what i'm gonna focus on myself i understand that there's a lot of dangers happening but i'm not going to let that ruin my day you're just really focusing on your happiness rather than focusing on the danger and you're trying to see the uh, brighter side in the situation rather than the negative side right so you do have the high priestess here so that does tell me that you are you are feeling like you should really be trusting your intuition you may be putting someone on a pedestal um, possibly a uh, romantic partner or someone that you have romantic feelings for um, but something just isn't working out here and you're starting to realize that and maybe you're not opening up to this person as much as you were in the past and you're just like you're wanting to go towards something that is going to be beneficial for you 
rather than it's going to put you in a situation where you just feel like an injustice like you can't believe they just did that like you know I worked so hard to make this connection work and you know now it's now it's completely falling apart you know but either way let's move on to Scorpio 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 what do we got for Scorpio today Scorpio 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 what do we got for Scorpio today Scorpio 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 what do we got for Scorpio today Scorpio 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 all right Scorpio let's do two shuffles for Scorpio two shuffles for Scorpio all right so Scorpio at the bottom of the deck you got the five of swords the ace or the queen of swords and the four of wands so there could be some relationship problems that you're dealing with right now and maybe you're fighting with a lot of people in your household or maybe you could maybe you're feeling like you won in the situation that you have a lot of power in the situation because you have all these swords um, you could be very sharp with your tongue, you may be very aggressive today, or you may feel like, you know, people are bowing down to you and, you know, trying to uh, kiss your butt, or maybe you're just, like, uh, doing that to a boss so that way you can get a raise um, and have a better relationship with them. Um, but either way, it seems like there's a lot of fighting and you're feeling very strong today and you're feeling very balanced and wanting to you know move forward maybe you're even giving some money to people maybe you're apologizing to some people for the aggressiveness that you were um you know ha that were happening in the past you know maybe you're just unsatisfied with how things are turning out in your life that you were taking all your anger and aggression out on you know the people in your household and you just didn't realize it and it just seemed like everything was bothering you when in reality it was just one thing that was bothering you and that was you know the situation that you're living in you know and in order to balance that out you need to balance out your mind you need to fix your mind you need to understand that everything happens for a reason and you can't keep fighting with people and acting out like a child you know you gotta actually work and you gotta work on yourself instead of like doing this situation that is super unsatisfying for you you know I understand that you know you're unsatisfied in the situation that you're in and you're wanting a very happy home a very stable home but fighting with the people in your household isn't going to uh, help that situation at all. It's just going to make things worse and it's going to make them unstable. You may be feeling very strong because you can fight people in your household and you know feel like you have a lot of power, but in the end, it's not going to help you. You know, it's just going to ruin your day. You know, but either way, I do see you really trying to open up your crown chakra, really wanting to you know help others out but at the same time you're needing to help yourself out instead of you know trying to help other people because helping other people isn't going to help you it's just going to make you worse all right so Scorpio you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Leo or a Libra either way let's move on to Sagittarius 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 what do we got for Sagittarius Sagittarius what do we got for Sagittarius today? Sagittarius. What do we got for Sagittarius? Sagittarius. Sagittarius. What do we got? What do we got for Sagittarius today? Alright, Saggy. Let's see what you got. So, Sagittarius at the bottom of the deck you got the empress card in the upright you also have the temperance card in the upright and the six of swords in the upright so 
with the temperance card being here that tells me that you're really feeling your energy and you're maybe starting new things in your life but at the same time you're really needing to heal the situation because you yeah you're feeling good you're feeling good about yourself and you're wanting to move forward but at the same time you still have a lot of baggage here especially because you know the six of swords is being here you have you know this baggage that you're needing to heal from heal from but you're really you know understanding that you know you're good you're good without this person you're single you're having fun you're enjoying your life you're starting some new projects and you're doing good you're living your best life you know and you may even walk away from someone that was giving you a hard time possibly even an air sign someone that was actually talking to you like a child or just acting like a child either way you're looking at the big bigger picture and walking away from the si situation and now they have a decision that they are needing to make or you are needing to make you know whatever it is for you um but yeah you're walking away and you're just like you know what i gotta make some new decisions i gotta you know move forward in a better way because the situation just wasn't working out and i gotta focus on you know what's better for me rather than you know what's better for everyone else in the situation all right so you could be dealing with a virgo sagittarius or a capricorn but either way Let's move on to Capricorn, 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 Capricorn. What do we got for Capricorn today? What do we got for Capricorn today? All right, so Capricorn, let's do, let's do two shuffles for Capricorn, two shuffles for Capricorn. All right, here we go. Very Capricorn at the bottom of the deck you got the nine of cups you also have the six of Pentacles and the king of swords in the upright so with the nine of cups being here that tells me that today is going to be very satisfying for you you may be feeling a bit unbalanced and maybe because you're feeling unbalanced you're wanting to cut some connections off because they just aren't serving you they are making you like you, they're making you feel like you aren't worth putting effort into and you're just like you know what I'm good where I'm at I'm good without you I can you know get rid of you and you know still be good I'm you know still gonna have you know the best life right and it seems like you're not really you know stressing about the situation although you do have the nine of Pentacles in reverse so maybe you are stressing maybe you're worried about the situation maybe you're having a hard time finding your peace because you're really stressed out because you don't know if this person likes you or not you want to you want to ask this person how they feel about you or you know maybe you're talking to a Gemini maybe someone approaches you today but it does seem like this person does have a really good connection to you with you but it does but something's unbalanced about it something's just like something's not right even though it seems very balanced here you do have the six of Pentacles in reverse in the back so something's unbalanced here maybe you're not putting as much effort into the relationship as they are or maybe they're not putting as much effort into the relationship as you are but either way something needs to give they may even try to give you a gift maybe to just like smooth things over on you so that way you can you know really feel like you're benefiting from this relationship rather than just you know being in it and being there all right so you could be dealing with a virgo Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. But either way, let's move on to Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius today? What do we got for Aquarius today? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What do we got for Aquarius today? What do we got for Aquarius? Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. So Aquarius, at the bottom of the deck, you got the Eight of Swords in the upright. You also have the Six of Cups in the upright and the Lover's card in reverse. So that tells me that you could be dealing with a Gemini or someone that just you were giving all your love to and it just, you were having a hard time seeing the danger in the situation and you you want you really cared about this person but you it left you feeling lost if left you feeling like you weren't worth 
putting effort into and that's not how this should be Aquarius it was a huge burden on you but it does seem like you're letting go of this toxic energy and moving forward in a better direction but at first you just need to release the situation so today you're going to be feeling very burdened you're going to be feeling lost you're go not going to be no you're not going to know what to do and it could be that this person ends up leaving you and now you're feeling lost without them and you're just not sure because they were your one and only they were the person that was truly going to be there for you and you have both the devil card and the lovers card in reverse so this person was most likely a karmic you know so them leaving your life is actually better for you because they're trying to control your life by leaving so that way they can always stay in your life but you I don't feel like you're going to take them back if they come back yeah you may feel lost without them maybe this relationship was a bit codependent uh, but either way I feel like you're going to release this burden you're just gonna be like you know what I see everything for what it is I understand that there was a lot of danger in this relationship or in this situation and I'm just gonna move forward in the best way possible because what's been happening just isn't right you know you're putting in all this effort you know you're giving them six cups every single time and they're only giving you, you know, like a few bucks, you know? And that's just not right, that's not even, that's not fair, right? So either way, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, Gemini, Virgo. Either way, let's move on to Pisces, 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 Pisces. What do we got for Pisces today? What do we got for Pisces today? Pisces, 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 Pisces. All right, so Pisces, here we go. Here we go. What do we got for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? All right, Pisces. Let's do last shuffle, last shuffle. All right, so Pisces at the bottom of the deck. You have the Six of Swords in reverse. You also have the Page of Pentacles in the upright in the two of cups so you may feel like you want to walk away from a situation invest your time into something new today because the situation that you're in just wasn't working out you could be dealing with a gemini or a taurus or a capricorn but it does seem like this connection was very toxic and this person may want to um reach out to you but you're needing to make a decision and if you're going to cut this person out of your life you're needing to understand that Whatever decision that you make today, Pisces, is going to be final, all right? So if you choose to cut out this negative energy, this toxic energy, you're going to be able to invest your time into something new and, you know, be more, you know, loving and, you know, really move forward in the best way possible. With the Two of Cups being here, that tells me that this connection was a karmic and it wasn't really good for you, and that's why the devil energy is here as well, because... The situation was a karmic connection. It's not worth putting your time into, and it's very toxic on your energy, and it's not it's not worth you know dealing with. It does seem like you're really healing from this and trying to move forward in a different direction, um, because you're letting go of this baggage right here in order to move forward. But there's still this toxic energy wanting to reach out to you, or a toxic person, possibly a codependent relationship or an addiction. Maybe you have an addiction that you're dealing with. But either way. Um, Pisces, that's going to be your reading for today. I feel like you're going to be going through a lot today, but you're wanting to, you know, start something new, start working on a situation that is going to be beneficial for you. But either way, Pisces, that's going to be it for your reading. I hope you guys resonate and enjoyed this reading. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help grow my channel, and I really do appreciate it. Namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The links will be down in the description box below. If you want to check out any of the other videos on my channel, you can hit that channel button and I take a whole bunch of videos on my channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.